Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the Space Exploration Agency. Today we will finally finish the Extract Ore from the Moon and deliver it to Kerbin Contract. Last time we loaded the remaining 900 units of ore into the Moon Ore Transporter and now we just need to wait for the arrival of the fuel delivery spacecraft so that we can deliver the ore to the space ore transporter which is docked to the fuel delivery spacecraft. Unfortunately the fuel delivery spacecraft just flew past our landing site and now we need to wait for it to complete almost an entire orbit and to approach our landing site again. I am super excited about the moment when I complete uh, the contract because it was a challenging contract. Well, the contract could have been a little bit simpler, but the way how I approached the contract was relatively difficult because I had to land a designated muon mining facility. Also I had to land a rover that is capable of transporting the ore from the muon mining facility to a special lander that subsequently transports the ore into an orbit of the moon. So yeah, this was really a challenging contract and now, now I can switch on SES before I forget this. All right, I think about 50 kilometers could be a good moment. No, no, not target mode, please. Surface mode could be a good moment to launch. All right. So let's do this in three, two, one, and lift off. Here we go. We can do our gravity turn right away. Nice, very nice. Okay, let's switch over to the orbit map. Okay, looking good, looking very good. Are we, are we arriving spot on? We are arriving more or less spot on. The Fuel delivery spacecraft will be slightly ahead of us. But yeah, I think this is, this is a good approach. So maybe I can... How far are we away? Two kilometers. Um, can I maybe just... do this in order to reduce the distance? Yes, I certainly can. This is good. 1.4, 1.3, nice. One kilometer, 900 meters, 800. Wow, this is, this is a perfect launch. Once again, a super perfect launch. Okay, let's set a maneuver there. Coming up in one minute. Okay, now target mode is helpful because this will help me to match the speed of uh, the fuel delivery spacecraft, very nice. Down there is a landing site of uh, the Muon mining facility and uh, the rover. Of course, I could increase uh, the rate at which I mine some ore on the surface of the Moon when I land uh, some more Muon mining facilities. That's really the concept of this whole project. I can land multiple facilities on the surface of the moon and then I of course have a higher output of ore. I just need to build another base or not another base, another space station in orbit around the moon or I could also have a base. Hmm, this, this would be also maybe an interesting thing. I could have some several moon mining facilities on the surface of the moon and I could have a base with an ISRU module that can that can turn the ore, the freshly mined ore, into into fuel right away on the surface of the moon. This would be also an interesting thing as I guess I have to explore this idea that is. Alright. 
we are on a good approach. All right, let's close this and switch to docking mode. All right. Yeah, this, this might be also an interesting idea to have to produce the fuel on the surface of the moon. This might be cool. All right. This is maybe not that efficient. So let's go back to staging mode and use uh, the main engine. The spacecraft is relatively heavy. Okay, let's end it here. Let's just see. It has a total mass of 21.41 tons, which is which is quite heavy. So RCS isn't that helpful with such a heavy spacecraft. But it's good enough in order to do the final docking. All right. Um, yeah, producing the, the, the fuel right away on the surface of the moon could be also interesting. But for now, I think I will send the full space ore transporter on, on a flight out to Minmus where it can deliver the ore to the Minmus space station, which can generate the fuel. I think this could be a good idea as well. All right, there somewhere. It's pretty hard to see because it's in front of the sun. But I think up there could be a free docking port. So we are on a good approach. I'm just a little bit concerned about the usual problem that the uh, the spacecraft will start to oscillate and wobble around. Oh, this would be unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, I like to get a little bit closer. But I don't want to change the orientation of my spacecraft because I need the main engine to slow it down. All right. So how close do I like to get? Maybe around 50 meters or so. All right, let's start. Let's start to slow us down. Nice. And all right, this is good enough. So now we can use the docking mode. I like to dock to this docking port. Awesome. All right. Maybe like this. Awesome. All right. Yeah, this, this spacecraft is super heavy. It's super hard to control with RCS. But that's okay. That's definitely okay. I might need to retract my solar panels so that they don't collide with the, the engines. This would be bad. All right. Looking good. Looking really good. I think I can start to slow the spacecraft down. Yes. It's good. All right. Okay, now. Now let's come to a stop. Awesome. And rotate it around. Where's the marker? Where's my marker? There, there's the marker. Very nice. Okay. Good. Why is only one? Are those disabled? Enabled. Why is only this one running? Okay, I think we do have a problem. We, we might have... Is this just a... Uh, a visual glitch or is this really something something not quite in order all right we arrived this is good hmm, this was this was weird why okay at least we have arrived this is good okay uh don't don't start to wobble don't start to wobble okay i think maybe we need to hurry so in let's let's transport all the ore in there uh, I'm, I'm all, the, all the time scared that the oscillation causes some severe issues or so. Right, bring bring the ore over. 
and now we are in the shadow of the moon. Wait, can I maybe select this one and select this one, this one and out? Yes, awesome. Okay. It would be cool if I could transfer, transfer some, some fuel at the same time, but I don't think that this is possible. All right, now, now we are, we are transferring all the ore into the the space or transporter. The RCS, uh, the SAS is going crazy. This is not good. This is not a good sign. Come on, come on. All right, nice. You have enough fuel. Um, can I leave you up here? Wait, I think I will do in and in. I will refuel the immune ore transporter, so in the worst case I can just leave this the fuel delivery spacecraft. Okay. And now let's bring some fuel into this fuel tank. Okay. So we should be ready to Alright, good, and contract. Alright, now we just need to put the spacecraft into an orbit of Kerbin. So, space ore transporter, it's up to you. You can now undock. Okay, I'm in control of it. RCS, SES. Let's... Let's drift away from the fuel delivery spacecraft. Okay. So, I said I like to fly out to the... to Minmus. Can I do it from... I think I need to do it from here, right? I just like to be in a, a little bit higher orbit than the orbit of the moon. And... Now, oh, this is a little bit lower orbit. Okay, let's drag this maneuver node around. Okay, it's somewhere around here. Very nice. This is, of course, a little bit too far out into the Kerbin system. Why am I no longer leaving the moon? Right. All the time. Okay, I'm almost arrive at... This is weird. Minmus. Okay, this this is good enough. This this is good. Coming up in ooh, 38 minutes. Okay. Um hmm. 38 minutes. 38 minutes. I need to do I need to do I need to do something. I think I will just switch to staging mode and do a very very quick prograde burn. So that I am not in the danger of colliding with the fuel delivery spacecraft. All right, let's do this. Let's just bring it up to 20 kilometers. 19, 20. All right, good. This is good enough. Awesome. Okay, so goodbye fuel delivery spacecraft, wherever you are. All right, it's somewhere up there. I wanted to see one thing. It has a total mass of 42.08 tons. This is heavy. This is super heavy. Okay, we can now do a quick time warp. To prepare or to get ready to leave the sphere of influence of the moon to finally complete the contract. This is good. What is down there? Fuel delivery spacecraft. All right. So it's far away from us. And that's good. That's very good. Carbon rice. Down there is our mining landing site. Very nice. Three, two, one. Easy. Okay. And stop here. Very nice. 
Okay, the whole thing has moved a bit. Um, but yeah, I remember this point. Let's let's just do this again. Just I need to have a burn that will allow us to leave the like so. Sphere of influence of the moon. Awesome. All right. Estimated burn of 32 seconds. So oh, orbital sunset again. That's a sad, but a beautiful view over Kerbin. And oh, over there is Kerbal Space Center. Cool, we have a direct view over to Kerbin Space Center. That's awesome. Okay, let's do this. Let's transport the ore into an orbit of Kerbin. This is good. But yeah, what I wanted to say at the, the start of the episode, there is plenty of room for improvement. I can make the whole mining operation way more efficient, but... Awesome. In 3 hours and 49 minutes, uh, this is good. In 3 hours and 49 minutes, and um, I don't know when you will have your... This is... Okay, we still need to wait until we get a sunlight down there. So maybe we can do the... Time warp. Yes, warp here. Let's do this. Goodbye, moon. Thank you for your ore. Much appreciated. All right. So soon we should leave Sphere of Influence of the Moon, right? Yes, just a few seconds, just a few seconds. And all right. Oh. We got, we got information. Contract complete. Extract ore from the moon and deliver it to Kerbin. You have extracted 2,400 units of ore and delivered it to Kerbin for Sean's, Sean's cannery. 666,000. Wow, this is, this is quite a lot. Okay, let's, let's close this. Yes, I do have all the ore. I, I was just a little bit concerned for a brief moment as this information stated that I delivered the ore to Sean's cannery. This would be... Where's Minmus? There's Minmus. This would be unfortunate. Okay, um... I don't think I can go for a direct flight to Minmus, right? Oh dear. Or can I? No. Okay, I think it's easier to fix the inclination first. So, a sending note. I've, I have plenty of time. I have plenty of time to do so. So, no, a sending note, I said. 4.2, 0 0.9, 0 0.7, 0.2. Yeah, I, I have. I have more than enough time. This ore is not really needed uh, since we have now completed this very difficult contract. This ore is well, it's useful on the on the Mu uh, on the Minmus space station, but it's not really needed for now. So let's see. Let's see. Let's focus the view on the moon. The sun is about to rise down there. It will take maybe couple of more hours. I don't want to... Yeah, I, I need to wait a little bit longer. So let's see, let's see. Can we do something while we are waiting for the sunrise down there? What does the Supply Mark 5 spacecraft? Let's switch to it. In one day and nine hours. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let's... Let's do this. Can I, can I warp here? 
Warp to next maneuver. Yeah, let's let's do this. I'm quite sure then the the sun will have set once again on the at the at the landing site at our uh, one day. Yes. yes. At the landing site, so or is the sun maybe shining down there? Could be possible. This would be this would be great timing. As this is just a mid-course correction burn, basically. I can do it right now. I don't have to wait that I am at the right position. Or at the exact position. Alright. And stop. Yes. Oh, it's colliding with Minmus, but we can fix this. We can fix this once we have arrived in uh, three days and 17 hours. Let's take a look at the moon. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. Uh, focus the view on the moon. Right, as expected, it's now in the shadow again. So let's do something else. You need three additional days. Um, space or transporter. Let's switch to you again. Oh. Okay, um, yes, this, this was to be expected. Uh, dang it. Alright, um, hmm. This is coming up in 16 hours. This is all the time the, the same, the same problem that I instantaneously forget about the As soon as I switch the to a different spacecraft, I forget about the time it needs and ooh, this is this is a neat eclipse. This is this is a cool eclipse. I like this. This looks awesome. Um, yeah. Let's let's try this again. Let's let's warp to to the next maneuver. And then maybe we have good light at uh, the landing site. All right, you can now fix the inclination so that we can match the inclination of Minmus orbit and fly out there. Good. Right, and Stop. Yes, stop now. Perfect. Okay, can I... It would be lucky if I could do the, the burn right now in order to arrive at Minmus. But it's close. It's definitely close. Yes. Thirty-three kilometers. That's awesome. In seven hours. Right, how is focus view on the moon? Oh, yes, daylight. That's perfect. So we can now switch to green horizon. Switch to awesome. Okay. Fortunately, we are in the shadow. I can switch on the light. We can see something. We are in a good orbit, yeah. This is a good initial orbit for a landing. I need to maybe begin the landing here, the power descent here. Need to do this and that. All right, this is good. I like to activate navigation. Nice. Bring it down a bit. Yeah, this could be good. This could be very, very good. All right. I like this. Coming up in 19 minutes. This is the last contract. Conduct observational surveys of the Mu near Mu base. This is good. We are definitely making good progress. All right, four, three, two, one, easy. Just a couple of seconds. 
Okay, okay. Is everything still good? No. Everything is no longer very good. I need to drag this a little bit over here. Alright, this is much better. Okay, we need to wait an additional minute. Not a problem. I will use this upper stage for hopefully most of the time for the power to descend to save some fuel. Alright, let's get a little bit closer. No, no, no! Ooh. Dang it! This was I wanted to stop it. Uh, this is this time over. I had uh, had the the finger on the wrong key. This is bad. This is super bad. All right, let's let's see. Let's see how our trajectory looks like after I yeah. I need to continue a little bit the burn. All right, and stop. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, unfortunately, is there maybe a target? No, there's no target. This is, this is problematic. But yeah, staging is is good. Okay, I'm having I'm having the uh, blast down here. I'm definitely ha oh, wait. One thing I forgot about one important thing. I like to have a maneuver here. This time, don't don't hit the. Okay, I have the I have the finger on the wrong and the right. Is this the no? It's just the base. Can I can I crater 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 crater? Maybe this crater. All right. Maybe it's this crater down there. So let's let's start to reduce the. Okay, I'm above a crater. Yes. So it's this crater. This crater rim. Yeah. Okay, I have to come down down there. To land down there. Okay, once I have reduced the velocity that much, that the upper state will impact there. Okay, let's end it here. And goodbye. And hello. Right, I should be directly above the. The landing site, hopefully. You're entering, all right? Yes, awesome. Let's get the. Let's extend the struts. It's surface mode. This is good. This time, it switched to surface mode because this once was a huge problem that it did not switch the mode. Awesome. This spacecraft running with three engines is super powerful. Very easy to control. Easy. Easy and touchdown. Awesome. Perfect. Well done. We made it. We are on the surface of the moon and we can continue to conduct observational observational surveys of the moon near moon base. But we will do this in the next episode. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode when I will continue with this contract. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Zeppi. See you!